It's cotton candy cloud So in today's video, I'm here to share with you guys this unit that I am rocking right now So if you guys are interested then definitely keep on watching Okay divas, so jumping right in today we have a unit by Bobby Boss It is from their HD unit collection and I have her in the style Isla So here's how she looks She is very gorgeous She has a yakky and a silky texture So here's how she looks um, And here's her cap construction So she does come with the 13 by 7 lace And it is a true 13 by 7 she also includes two combs in the front as well as a comb in the back with the adjustable straps. And as you guys can see, she also has an elastic band um, and it is adjustable as well. So here is the lace. So as you guys can see, it's like really, really big and you have tons of space. And the knots on this unit looks absolutely amazing. It looks really, really nice as well as the hairline. So here's how it looks straight onto my head. And then don't mind that little tag I forgot to take that out but on me it falls at about maybe a 24 inch I am 5'2 and I have a shorter neck in case you want to use that for reference as far as shedding and tangling I did experience a little bit of shedding as well as a little bit of tangling which was to be expected one because it's long and then two because it is a lighter color so here is the hairline and how it looks so now I'm gonna go in and make the unit work for me and then I will be back of course to tell you guys my closing thoughts Okay Divas, so now that you guys have gotten all the details and the specs on this unit, I am here to tell you guys how I feel about it, so let's just jump right in. Okay Divas, so let's just jump right in. So I have tried a unit from this collection before. It was in the style Kiva and she was also a bob unit. I was really excited to see that they came out with some longer length um, units like this because I was, just, I was just super excited about it because I was like, oh my gosh, like they have longer units. But anyway, so I have tried one from this line so I guess I'm gonna kind of compare it to that one um, I do still want to go down the claims with you guys even though I've done one from this line before because I feel like each individual unit will have like their own thing um, so yeah let's just jump right in okay so I have the claims right in front of me so yeah so this is their 13 by 7 extended lace frontal um, they have a true 13 by 7 um, you know we don't normally see that in the synthetic wig community usually it's just like you know like not a 13 by 7 or a 13 by 4 even so um, I'm really happy to see that there is actually a 13 by 7 unit um, so that's really good so one of the claims on this unit the first claim is that this is HD transparent lace and that is very true this is HD transparent lace um, one thing to be mindful about is that with HD transparent well transparent lace um, it's very hard to work with because it's so starky white as you guys seen like in the beginning it was very light so I had to go in and tint it and I tinted it with a foundation shade that is a little bit darker than me so that the shade could kind of blend in with my skin and look pretty good and natural which it really did work so um, that's what I did with the previous unit as well 
Um, and as far as the, um, as far as the uh, HD part, um, I feel like the HD lace is very thin and it makes it very easy to melt into your skin, which that's one of the things that I really do like because I feel like the lace like really, like it melts really good and I really do like that. And I'm sorry, I still have the foundation on the back of my hand, <laughs> but um, yeah. So the next claim is that it has free parting and styling and that is very true because as I showed you guys, there is a true... 13 by 7 lace parting like there's nothing but space okay for this wig like it's just amazing so the next claim is that it has a custom plugged hairline with baby hair now for me personally I feel like the baby hair is very excessive because they're like bangs and then they're also a little bit thick I did well they're not super thick because I did just have to go in and plug just a little bit out but I feel like they are a little bit too excessive with the length I was just like ooh, this is a lot and um, the previous unit had that as well but um, yeah because I didn't even cut all of it so this is a part of the baby hair and it's a very long so um, I would just say to be mindful of that but you can always go in and cut it I don't really necessarily feel like that's a con because if you want to you can cut it to your preference rather than it coming too short or whatever like it's better for you to have more length to cut it to the desired length that you would like your baby hairs to be so another thing that i like about this unit um it has like a really nice density on it the density on this unit is absolutely amazing i feel like it's not too thick and it's not too thin um i feel like it's just very natural now as far as the texture i was a little bit confused because i was like is this yakky or silky but it's like i've come to the conclusion because it has like kind of like a thick texture that it is yakky but it's silky at the same time so it has like a yakky silky type of texture so it's a little bit of both which um i really do like that um it's really really nice so um yeah i like the texture i feel like it's nice i don't know how it will be like in a natural color i feel like in this color it looks very natural and it has a nice luster but um maybe in a black color it might be a little bit shiny because i did notice that with kiva it was a little bit shiny and i believe i got it in the color number one and it was a little bit shiny it wasn't too anything too excessive but i don't know i would say to be mindful of that if you're gonna get this in a number one because it does have like that silky and yakky but more of a silky texture oh yeah let's talk about the elastic band okay I do not like the elastic band on this wig like I feel like it's very cheaply made um, I recently did just review a unit by Zuri and their elastic band is very nice and it also is truly a glueless one and I feel like it's because of the elastic band and I feel like because of the elastic band in this unit it's not like it doesn't it's not at its best because the elastic band is like it's not that great so that's why it's not glueless so yeah i don't really like the elastic band like that's one thing that i was like uh no as far as shedding and tangling i experienced some shedding and tangling um which i was expecting because i did get a blonde color and with blonde colors um whether it's synthetic or human i always experience some shedding however it is nothing that is too excessive i did wear black so you guys can see throughout the video like if the wig is going to shed or anything so and it's not shedding excessively but you will experience some shedding um as far as a dark color i would imagine that you would experience the same because the hair texture is the same just not as much as a lighter color but overall i do think that this wig is very nice um i really do like this one from this collection this is my second wig that i am trying and i also have another one coming up for you guys so yeah i'm enjoying this collection so far i think that it is pretty nice i feel like it's very nice that you can get like an hd transparent unit it for under um $50 I think that that's really really good um depending on the color I think with the color add-on it may be a little bit more if I'm not mistaken but I feel like it's still a good price and I also love the fact that they have enabled you know a synthetic wig wears to go ahead and you know have some other options besides you know what we've been getting and I'm glad that they're evolving so kudos to Bobby Boss for evolving and staying very current when it comes to like hair trends and the lace and everything like that but yeah divas if you guys are interested I'll definitely link a link in the description box below so be sure to go ahead and check that out but that's pretty much it I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very helpful and easy 
easy to follow. If you fabulous girls did, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you fabulous divas and know what you guys are thinking. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also hit that notification bell, girl. I do upload quite often and you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos. But yeah, divas, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you fabulous girls in my next video. Bye.